Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Fallout 2020. Uh, we're here at the drive-in where we've been building a settlement. And we're checking on the progress of our sim settlements. Looks like a few new people are moving in here. So yeah, we're just doing a little settlement tour for this and the, and the previous episode after going on a multi-part adventure at Covenant with a bunch of uh, crazy weirdos. Uh, we don't need to talk about that anymore. All right, so look at this. We're making a ton of progress. So let's just wait here and see what our settlers are building. Over here on the right, we have our residential area. Uh, straight ahead, you have our guard post area with those railroad cars we've repurposed. And over to the left, you see our city uh, stores and everything that we're building. We have a bar there that's being that's already built, and uh, we've been really waiting patiently for the stores to open up. Although, actually, on that one right there might be another residence. I think just on the other side, I put stores in, and this one's a residence. So, yeah, we are using the Sim Cities mod, which. You just place these plots down and it, it basically builds itself or the settlers are supposedly the ones building it for you. So I, I've actually done a very similar looking uh, town in my Ghost Chef series, which that is a voice character role play where I do this uh, old school gangster guy. And this was our biggest settlement here. And it was basically the same thing with the houses over here and the, the stores over there. So. I don't know. This is taking a while, so something is is definitely glitched. Hey, guy, are you? All right. Well, someone's hammering on something. Okay. I don't know. Maybe because it's building three at once, they they gotta rotate a little part between them or something. I don't really know. I don't know what's going on. But we'll just get a different angle here. So. Yeah, so, yeah, in the Ghost Chef series, this this looks really good. Uh, this was actually, the I think, the only place I used the Sim Settlements mod in that series. Uh, the other places I built myself, uh, for the most part. But here, you know, because I wanted to do this, like, have a bunch of stores and a bunch of houses, you know, I just threw plots down. I didn't have this big foundation like this. Oh, here we go. This guy's working hard. Uh, yeah, so I didn't throw this giant foundation down. So that's kind of why I did it this time, because... Everything was a little harder to snap snap together in the last one, but honestly, I don't think this ended up looking that great. I'm going to have to put more clutter or, or at least a road or something in the middle. Maybe just some tiles, you know. I think there's road tiles I can put down, you know. I think it'll look a little better, but we have to wait till everything's built till I do that. All right, so everyone is hard at work. Look at this guy welding. This usually doesn't happen, actually, uh, in the Xbox. It's, I've mentioned a few times uh, how it happens on PC, but there's still definitely something wrong here. So uh, what it turns, I mean, I know what it is because I've already recorded all these episodes uh, and I already figured it out. So yeah, uh, we do the voiceovers a little after I, I play and edit. So yeah, I kind of messed up uh, with some of the mods. I might've had a slight conflict there. So we'll figure that out a little later. Anyway, look at this. We have these settlers uh, making food over there with our scarecrows. And up here, we have our nice little guard post area. This is one of the fa my favorite things I've built in this, this playthrough. So I really like how this looks. It came out really good. So I put all those planks and scaffolding and stuff just to make it look like a, a busy raider outpost. We put all those walls up there to the left. And yeah, this just is not building at all. The guy looked like he wanted to build, but so what happened was, well, normally uh, we uh, these plots ignore the build limit. Here's an industrial plot for you. So, but I I put a different mod on to like get rid of the build limit uh, because of the way Covenant was behaving. This is really cool though. Let's just watch this for a minute. Working on this car, uh, and we have another one being built over here. Something similar. So, yeah, so I added a mod because I'm not using Sim Settlements there. Well, I think by default, Sim Settlements does does avoid the build limit. But I because I added the other mod, it was getting confused. So we'll sort that out later. Here we are back at the outpost uh, where it's pretty stormy. <laughs> this is kind of weird. 
a little scary here. Oh, and okay. something's happening. So, all right. More raiders. Last time we came here, we were under attack by raiders. And we missed most of it and cleaned up after the fact. But we are gunfire. Hard to hear gunfire with all this lightning. But uh, she seems to be alerted to someone. And uh, maybe it's the raiders down here. Yeah. We have a whole raider outpost that temp sometimes respawns. Or maybe up here. There's a lot of danger in this area. Where the heck are you going, lady? Wait. What? Why is... Oh. Oh, okay. That wasn't a settler. That was really scary. That was really weird. Okay. Um, that was one of the Minutemen. I guess we have built the Minutemen back up Hello, to sir. the point where they're just visiting all our, all our settlements and checking in on people. So, okay. That works, too. I think that was pretty cool. All right. So anyway, if you remember in the last episode, we were trying to like tear this whole place down. It's really hard to talk over this storm. Uh, we were trying to tear this place down using this desk over here and uh, putting a settler in charge of building a city plan. So uh, what turns out you have to use one of your you have to use one of your companions. So this playthrough, we're not doing companions except for Dogmeat here. And I don't think Dogmeat's going to be building a whole town by himself. No offense to Dogmeat. But uh, I guess Codsworth can. And, uh, you know, we didn't make him our follower, but he's just sitting there doing nothing over in Sanctuary. You know, which we hate anyway. Like, we hate Sanctuary. So let's get him out of there and get him into the task of rebuilding this town uh this is really exciting this was the first settlement that we built in this playthrough so it's pretty appropriate that we're tearing it down and just doing something new because uh, most of the point of this playthrough honestly was to just kind of learn sim settlements and just see what it does and and you know just watch the settlements grow on their own and and then kind of live in them and make a character based on like the randomness of what plots they build so this is an even better way to do it because we're not just going to build like a few scattered plots we're going to build a whole darn city here so we took some rad x and uh rad away and well we'll save the rad away for when we're done and look at this they're tearing everything down including some of that pesky stuff that was like floating in the air and stuff so that's actually already improved this thing. Because remember we had that, that lantern just floating there yesterday? So uh, that's not good. Look at this. This is actually looking really cool. So it kept the structures that were here to begin with. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. It's like literally terraforming like where we're standing. Um, yeah, so it does terraforming and some stuff that I think you can do that with the mod too. But I don't know. I haven't played around with that. Uh, oh, we better get out of here. We're actually getting clipped out of existence. Um Maybe I should go stand outside the settlement boundaries uh, down here a little bit uh, closer to the entrance uh, or maybe out in the open. It doesn't look like they're going to build right here uh, anytime soon. So, yeah, all this stuff like this and the workbench and not that desk, but not this stuff right here. But that brick building, that was all here like that came with the place. And I don't think you can tear all of it down. Well, they could with the mod, that's for sure. All right, well, look at that. All right, so just building these random assets in the air, but I'm sure it'll connect them all at some point. Ah, oh, this is building quite a structure. All right, so if you remember last time, or might, you might have seen it in the menus this time too, real quick. Um, there were like five choices for this so different modders like submitted their choices and i guess it was a it might have even been a contest for this uh some of them are contests i don't remember if this one is or not but besides the point there's five different ones i was gonna try out all five and see which one worked but this one looks like it works like this looks like a real raider outpost look at that like water tank or whatever wow we're in a fight God, come on don't you realize that we're rebuilding here oh i guess that lamp didn't get taken away it's literally sitting right there that's hilarious i don't know where they're shooting it's so hard to see anything look at this guy he got stuck when it plays stuff down it looks like it, it trapped a few of our settlers 
But it's already looking super cool. All right, yeah, this place respawned. All right. Yeah, it's really weird. The, the programming in this game, I mean, it's kind of cool, but, you know, they give you this settlement and then right down the road are raiders that can respawn with turrets. It's like, why couldn't I take over this spot too? All right, I can't even see in the God rays here. All right, oh man, I kept missing. Well, we didn't take any damage at least. All right, shut up, you're really annoying. Oh, poor dog meat. Jeez, good thing that wasn't a settler. I think I might've killed him with that. <laughs> All right, we'll just got a helmet. That's cool. All right, she's good. All right, well, look at this. We're already building up even higher now. We got some scaffolding up top. And this is looking like Megaton or something, like a giant type of, uh, you know, hodgepodge of materials thrown together. We have some scaffolding there. And it looks like this is like a normal plot from Sim Settlements, a uh, normal residential plot. They'll, they'll add something to later. I mean, this is pretty cool looking. All right, can we go up there or should I wait for it to finish the top? I don't know, let's just peek around, check it out. And yeah, so I just installed the uh, Game of the Year edition with the DLCs. I don't know if it's even called Game of the Year, but whatever, they usually, they used to be. So now I can do all the stuff that involves scaffolding and, and some of these other assets. So, I don't know. Maybe this is just going to stay like this up here. I don't know if they're going to add to it right now. Well, the thing is, uh, I think even these city plans will get built in stages. So, this could just be stage one. And then after we level it up a few, uh, it'll go up to stage two and three. And just look different or change. Because that's what the indi individual plots do. So, I think this is already a success. Look at this. It looks great. Look at how they put that bus in the dirt like that. I, I can't, I don't think I can do that type of stuff uh, without a mod, you know? So look at how they have the car piled on each other. This is a really genius looking place. I am really curious about the other, other four choices, but we're definitely sticking with this one. This is perfect for the outpost. I love it. All right. All right, so here are some of those options that we have so uh this was actually took place uh at the beginning of the app but i didn't, didn't want to start the app with a menu so uh some of this stuff we already turned off or on or whatever so respect build limit is turned off because we were having that problem if you remember over at the drive-in so that was what was causing that problem so all right, animation. There's so many options that like I never even looked into. So extra lights, clutter on, randomized clutter on. We got animated off. So some of this stuff you do want to turn off. Like I maybe should turn clutter off if I want to, uh, you know, have better performance or something. NPCs and pets. What is that? Uh, I think I should turn that on. That's pretty cool. I think I do go through this again also, too. But now that I know about this, you know, you could do specific playthroughs with different options, you know. Maybe one where there's tons of pets and stuff. I don't know. Look at all this stuff. Difficulty, immersion, local. What's immersion options? Oh, see, commercial requirements. So I've complained about this, how at the Red Rocket, I needed you needed a certain amount of settlers before you could have uh you know a store so now it's like homes i don't know what that means maybe i just need one or two homes and i'm good or i could just turn it off and so i could just you know start out with just a store because i would rather have that at certain spots like you know you go to the red rocket you have a vendor and you have a guard or something you know what i mean you keep it simple i got like 20 freaking people there now all right anyway thanks for watching we'll see you next time <laughs>